Well, welcome back to Up FM. Uh, we've got uh, Stacey Roper on the line, our artist of the day, our official guest of honour. Uh, <laughs> Stacey, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing? <laughs> Fantastic. Nice to hear from you. I'm so sorry. We actually hung up on you before, love. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Technical difficulties. That. Yes, indeed, indeed. Um, look, so please, well, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Executive Lunch Hour. Uh, so why don't you tell our listeners a bit about yourself, Stacey, kind of where you're from, who you are, and uh, and about your artwork, of course, your fabulous art. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm originally from New Plymouth, but I've been living up here about 13 years now, I think. Um, and I paint, I mostly paint um, lowbrow kind of pop arty sort of stuff with an airbrush, and I kind of repackage toys as well. Wow, brilliant. Now, what do you mean by lowbrow? Low, lowbrow. Um, well, it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain. It all sort of comes from the background of sort of like pop cultures. So anything from movies and um, I guess skateboard graphics and tattoo art and pinup art and all that kind of stuff. So stuff you sort of don't see in highbrow sort of galleries, like the the high end fancy to do galleries. Yeah, it's not about, you know, filling the space. It's more about um, illustration and things like that. Very much. Now, I'm quite a big fan of your work. I've actually, I'm hoping to get some of your work in one of our events. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a particularly big fan, of it and I like that uh, um, that angle that you kind of do your pictures in. But, uh, so tell me, have you always been an artist, or were you kind of like born with a paintbrush in your hand? Um, I guess I have, without really realising it until later on in life. Um... I think my earliest memories are um, we had wo- um, Womble wallpaper and it was just printed black and white with one colour in it and I remember getting told off for colouring it in on the wallpaper in my bedroom so um, I guess that was the first time I remember and then I remember drawing a um, picture for a, a competition when I was seven and I won a kind of, a, it was on the radio, it was a drawing competition, it wasn't like a colouring in one so um, I must have thought I had some sort of talent back then, but <laughs> didn't, didn't really pursue it that much, actually, to be honest. But right. um, I liked doing art through school, and I had a few good teachers and stuff. But, um, but no, my parents were tradespeople, so they weren't really into that kind of genre of an idea for a job or a, or a career, so right. I was steered away from it. Right, so they tried to, not discourage, but yeah, like you said, steer you away from it. Well, they just said I wouldn't make a living from it, so they kind of like do a trade you know so. right and well, what was the kind of like the uh, the pinnacle moment when you thought no stuff this I'm going to I'm going to pursue it I'm going to be an artist oh it was really weird I was doing um, a, basically a course in trades and um, someone asked me to draw pictures because I'd done school see art and all that sort of stuff when I was younger and um, and they came out a lot better than I thought so I finally convinced my mum to let me do an art course and it was a tutor on that co- art course that kind of did the uh, equivalent of kicking me up the bum in the right direction, so to speak. So um, he sort of said, you should be doing this, go to uni, do all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, away I went. And I did graphic design for three years. I still did fine art, but I did graphic design. But it's kind of weird because my style of art, uh, of art is quite graphic. And um, doing that course, I learned to airbrush. And I think we were the last ones to go through that learned to illustrate with an airbrush. I don't think they t- teach it anymore. So um, I just kind of applied my love of using the airbrush on small illustrations with something a lot bigger. And um, yeah, I really like painting with the airbrush. Great. Now, um, you mentioned, uh, now I heard uh, a rumour that you won this quite a prestigious award uh, in New Zealand uh, in, a, in a fairly unconventional style. Can you, uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a random thing. Um, I see, I hadn't long lived in Auckland and I don't really know the art scene at all and I sort of never really thought about it that much. But I'm not sure where I saw the ad, but there was an ad for um, like a, an art competition, but you could also sell your work at the show. And so I just pulled out the form, cringed at spending $12 to enter and sent this picture off and um, lo and behold a couple of weeks later I got a call saying um, am I coming to the award ceremony and I was like uh, yeah probably not not really my cup of tea and the lady was like I think you should come you should wear something nice and I went oh yeah okay I, I don't know so I'll, I'll wander up so I honestly didn't wear anything nice I had a t-shirt <laughs> with degenerate written on it and um, rocked up to this event with all these rather overly dressed people and it turned out that it was the art competition is probably the oldest running one in New Zealand. And at the time it was in about 140 something year. But basically it was at the Royal Easter Show and I won the KG Fraser Award um, for Best in Show Painting. And um, the, it was presented to me by the Prime Minister at the time, um, the Right Honourable Helen Clark. 
and they had all these fancy speeches and all this sort of stuff and then I had to open the art hall with the Prime Minister and I was still a little bit interested <laughs> about the whole thing because um, my painting was called um, uh, it, was a, it was an ode to my grand, granddad Griffin and it was basically a, a, it was airbrushed and it was a face like a comic book face of someone yelling and the speech bubble basically said oh strike me bloody pink and so here I was in this rather formal environment with this crazy painting that had a giant speech bubble with swear words in it that the Prime Minister read out nice and loudly to the boss <laughs> really quite funny brilliant um, yeah that was pretty random but apparently there's like over a thousand entries and I won the whole show wow, fantastic. and that included like photography and um, printmaking and all sorts of other things as well so M- amazing yeah. well congratulations congratulations yeah, quite surprised <laughs> and how long ago was so, this uh, I think I won that in 2002 or three. I can't quite remember but I hadn't entered an art competition since I was seven so right I've only entered like two <laughs> and how old are you now Stacy? Uh, yeah, you'll give, give us a ballpark figure then. Twenties, <laughs> thirties, <laughs> thirties. I'm in my thirties. Are you love? Yeah, well, you look like no, you're in your twenties. I anyway. look a lot younger than I am. So <laughs> you do. We'll just... <laughs> you act a lot like younger than what you are. Uh, I, to- I totally am immature for my age. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Now, look, just in uh, in terms of your arts career, what are, what have, have been like the biggest obstacles you've had to overcome so far in like pursuing a, a, an art career in New Zealand? Um, I, well, obviously the first one was my parents, um, but you know that since I've kind of like gone from from that to doing design and getting jobs and working and all that sort of jazz, I think the the hardest thing now is trying to convince people to spend money on my art. Right. Um, most people that have bought my stuff live overseas, so it's actually quite it's kind of a bit disheartening a little bit here. Um, and it's sort of I, I mean I've worked in advertising for about twelve years. And I've had people illustrate for us and the amount of money that is spent on illustration for one, like, campaign is is honestly, like, three times the amount people would spend on on a a work of art that they keep forever and ever. That, you know, like, it's an investment thing. And um, I just, yeah, I just find it hard to believe that people don't... They'd spend more on a television, um, you know, that will die after a few years than they would on a piece of art that you get to keep forever. So I, it's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing, actually. Right. Yeah. I, th- I think it's pretty much worldwide, really, uh, being in a capitalist society. Um, yeah. But uh, what kind of advice do you have for aspiring artists? Um, I, I don't. I think. Well, I'm a big fan of things that are well crafted, and I just see a lot of people recycling done ideas. So I think if people are going to kind of go down that track and do that kind of thing, I think they need to really make sure they add value to what it is they're creating. Um, so I, I appreciate things that people put a lot of detail in, and whether or not you just, you, I mean, I can see a lot of stuff that's, um, you know, that's just not well crafted, and the idea is not that original. So. Uh, as long as, as people actually put some sort of effort into it, then you can convince people, I think, that it's worth something more. Right. So that's, that's my... And, and never give up on, on what it is that you're trying to do as well. Because, I mean, you know, I, I would paint in my room for, for years before anyone cared about what it was I was doing. It was just someone saw something and they liked it and they bought it. So, And I hadn't actually tried to sell it. So um, I guess you have to just kind of plug away and eventually it come, comes right. But, right. It's definitely got to come yeah. from, the, from the love of it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so, um, absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, now tell us, uh, you're working on a few projects at the moment. Um, yeah, I've got some pretty massive um, things um, going on at the moment. Um, actually, the first thing I'm doing is I'm um, I'm setting up a gallery um, on K Road that's kind of towards the sort of lowbrow underground sort of um, outsider art genre because there's sort of it doesn't seem to be very well represented in Auckland, so um, that's going to be my my new big massive favourite project is just to get a whole bunch of artists involved that are kind of you know on the outside of this whole sort of gallery land and kind of have a have a place where they can kind of meet and show their stuff. Um, and um, we're we're opening with a show with with all my new paintings and my friend's work, who's also a skateboard buddy of mine from New Plymouth, who's pretty much done the same, had, had almost a similar life to mine. Um, we went to the same school, we went to the um, same um, tech, we went to, um, we went skateboarding, we've been skateboarding for years and years together, and, um, and we've always both done art, and so our influences have, have a lot of similar backgrounds, and um, his, his artwork is really awesome, and it's very Kiwi Anarish as well, which is quite crazy. And um, he's an amazing illustrator, but he's also a sign writer, so he cuts a lot of his work out of, um, 
like uh, vinyl and sticks it onto paylight. So that's mm. that's quite quite a sort mm-hmm. of a, new, a different way of, of creating something. So him and I are going to do the very first show at a gallery that we've um, created called Rebel Rebel Yell Gallery. All right, and, we, and we're, um, where's this on K Road? What's the address? Yeah, the address is two hundred. It's La Gonda Arcade, two hundred and three K Road. Yeah. Um, we haven't finished the website yet, but um, it's all set to kick off on the thir- Friday the thirteenth of August. I thought that was an awesome date. But oh, yeah. Friday the thirteenth of <laughs> August is our big opening kind of shebang. So hopefully, um, yeah, if you want to check out the artwork, it's um, it's going to be cool. And I'm going to like get a whole bunch of like you know, I'm going to try and merch a lot of the art as well, so that <laughs> people who can't afford big things can kind of still afford the image. Nice, fantastic. So, um, now, you've got a, you've got a yeah. Facebook um, page, don't you? Yeah, there's, um, if you um, go to Facebook, we've got Rebel Yell Gallery, so come and join our friends and then we can keep everyone updated with, there. Um, otherwise, you can just go check out my artwork on my own website, which is stacyroper.com. And I spell my name with an E-Y. So S-T-A-C-E-Y. E-Y, yeah. R-O-P. Fantastic.com. Yeah. Brilliant. So, um, yeah, there's some exciting things coming up, but I'm really, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm painting and I'm working, trying to get this thing going, and it's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much doing 16 hours a day to try and get it wow. sorted in time, but it's, it'll yeah. be worth it in the end, because it'll be just such a cool space, and it'll be not like your usual gallery, because it's very far from it. So Fantastic. And um, at what time on Friday does that kick off? Is it an all-day thing? Or uh, just an afternoon? No, it starts at about 6 o'clock, you know, like your usual opening time. Okay. But, um, yeah, the gallery will be open from then on after that. So okay, that's day. brilliant. But it's a, a, like the opening launch party kind yeah. of event. You'll start seeing some crazy posters around town next week. All right, fantastic. Now, just again, the Facebook page is Rebel Yell, Y-E-L-L. Yeah, Y E L L Rebel Yell Gallery. You should be able to find that on there. And um, yeah, you'll we'll we'll keep updating that. Brilliant. The website's finished. So wow, I wish. Cool. Great. Well, I wish you all the best of luck, Stacey. Thanks so much for joining us on uh, on Up FM on the Executive Lunch Hour. Thanks, thanks for having me, Lara. <laughs> You're yeah. welcome. My pleasure. And yeah, uh, yeah. best of luck to you. And, and uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you on the thirteenth, then thirteenth of August. Yes, do that. It's going to be fun. Brilliant. All right, now I'm going to try and negotiate my back way, my way back to the uh, the music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had trouble getting you on the phone, so um, bear with me a few seconds while I uh, uh, I try and play some music again. Thanks so much, Stacey. Take care. No worries. All Have right. a good day. You too. Catch you later. Yeah, bye. bye.